the day. The interview lured folks to theaters nationwide to see the movie causing so much controversy on the big screen. News Channel 5's Homa Bash is live at Tower City Cinemas tonight. And Homa, there were some big crowds there. That's right, Michael. Now, this is the only theater in the city showing the film today, one of just five in the state. And despite terror threats, hack attacks, and growing controversy, two out of those four showings were sold out. I'm not going to let a dictator dictate what I watch. Marcus Harper is about to go see the sold out first showing of the interview at Tower City Cinemas. Hello, North Korea! Something that wasn't possible until two days ago when Sony decided that it would show the controversial comedy after pulling it from theaters nationwide just days earlier because of terror threats. I think it's too bad that they hesitated. Yeah, I think they should, should, should just put it out. Tower City Cinemas is one of a few hundred theaters around the country that decided to release the James Franco Seth Rogen film on Christmas Day. Next Security was not stepped up here, and just before the first showing, we found long lines of people, Harper included. I don't care about the quality of the movie. I just want to be here because a guy told me not to. We just believe in free speech. There's so much dispute, and it's caused such drama. I want to see if the movie's any good. So, was it? At first, I thought you know, it was going to be one of those stupid, corny movies, but it was actually high budget and really good. Out of 10? Eight. I have to say eight. It was, it was really good. Tower City Cinema says it'll play here as long as people come to see it. Now, the movie wasn't just released to select theaters. It's also available to stream online on sites like YouTube, Google Play, and Microsoft Xbox. In downtown Cleveland, I'm Homa Bash, News Channel 5.